Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Chrysler. Um, I am a Calgary local and I wanted to discuss what the weather is actually like in Calgary. It is definitely a hot topic for conversation here. We have very bizarre weather patterns and it can get pretty cold. So I'm gonna take you through month by month and talk about what you can expect um, from the weather. And if you are thinking about making a move to Calgary, this video might be uh, good for you to watch. Okay, so January. If you are in Calgary in January, you can expect it to be pretty cold. Um, Google says it's around like between minus three and minus 14. Um, I feel like it definitely gets colder than that. Uh, another thing that's very notable about living in Calgary specifically um, we get Chinooks. So we get Chinooks from December to February in our winter months. And basically you get warm air that comes in from the west over the mountains. And it can change the temperature like 40 degrees. Like it can go from minus 20 to plus 20 in a couple of hours. And um, some of the people that, that live in Calgary get migraines from it. So, um, I am not one of those people. I definitely enjoy the Chinooks. It is nice to have like those little breaks from winter, but some people do have their challenges, um, as well as the roads. So if we have like a considerable amount of snow when the Chinooks come in, it, it'll melt and then refreeze. So we, we battle a lot with ice and the sidewalks and the roads and the city uses a lot of salt. Um, as well as, as people when they're doing their own driveways, they will they will buy salt to help with the ice problem, which in turn can shorten the lifespan of your, your concrete, your sidewalks, or your garages, damage your, your vehicles as well. So people spend a lot of time in the car washes in the winter in Calgary because of our Chinooks. February can be cold. Um, I think the last couple of years in February, we've had you know, a few couple, a few weeks where it's been like minus 30 or minus 40. Um, and something called like the polar vortex where we get these, these cold snaps. Um, that doesn't always happen. It, sometimes we have more mild winters, but, uh, that was definitely, that was definitely a thing last year. And, um, yeah, you don't get outside very often when that's happening. Coming into March, the, the, and spring, um, it can still be pretty cold in March. Sometimes it like the snow will melt. Um, and then April, like depending on the year, can be pretty nice or it can be it can be pretty rainy. so it, it totally depends. My birthday is actually at the end of April. So on my birthday, there have been years where it's been really, really nice and we've been outside. And then there's also been years where there has been snow on the ground. So it, it's really just a toss up of what you're going to get in the, the springtime in Calgary, to be, to be perfectly honest. But I feel like more often than not, it's nice on my birthday on the 29th. So coming into May, um, you'll definitely see some improvements in the weather. Typically after May long is when we, we plant our flowers. Um, if you do that before May long, you're at risk of having some, some frost overnight and stuff. So usually we have to wait until after that weekend. Um, we can get quite a bit of rain in May, but again, that depends. June, usually very nice. This year in June, we had um, quite, like, I think we had a heat wave actually, which is unusual, but usually it's nice and like quite mild. Um, July is our warmest month normally. And this past couple of years, we've been dealing with the, um, the fire fires, the, the wild fires from British Columbia and like in the mountains and stuff. August is usually very nice as well. Um, we don't, we're not really known for getting a ton of rain in Calgary. Um, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this like a rainy place, but, um, we can have a beautiful September. Usually at this point, the fires are kind of um, not so bad. So the skies are very clear. We have like crisp mornings. It's definitely my favorite month. Like right now the leaves are changing color. It's beautiful, like especially if you can get out to the mountains in the fall. Um, 
it's definitely it's definitely worth it. We have honestly some of the best days all year. Um, September can be can be warm, but again, like you're probably going to have some frost overnight starting um, around this time. And October again can be very beautiful. Like I got married Thanksgiving weekend on the the eighth, and I think it was like 16 degrees when we got married. So you can lock out you can lock out again in October with some really nice days, but it can also get cold, and we can also even see snow in October. November. Um, you're pretty much in the winter at this point. It does get fairly cold, but I mean, the one nice thing about our winters is that we get so much sunshine. So if you, if you're somebody that likes to be outdoors and you like um, getting a lot of sun, Calgary is a great place for that because we have a lot of like really, really bright sunny days um, even throughout our winters. So. As long as you have a, a good coat and boots, you are pretty much good to get outside. Um, December, going into Christmas, again, the, the days are going to get short. It gets dark pretty early. But typically, we have a, we have a white Christmas. And um, I personally like the fact that uh, it usually snows at Christmas. And it's, it's pretty cozy and everybody has their lights up. So... Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about Calgary. Um, if you are thinking about making a move to Calgary, please let me know in the comment section. And if you would like some more information on activities to do in the city, um, check below and I will put a link down there for you to check out.